All right, let's check out how a nested if function works. Now, if you have already not seen how a basic if function works, uh, I highly encourage you to check out that video and the tutorial of the if function first. Uh, we have both an if introduction and also an example of the if statement um, on our website here, www.spreadsheetsolving.com. Now, how does the nested if function work? Okay. We're going to take a look at an example here, and we will show you how, why this formula here, which is a nested if function, why that has to be the case. Okay, let's start with the inside if function first, which states if h2 is less than zero, um, please return a y, otherwise return a blank. Okay, let's explain that right now. What that inside if statement is saying is if the days left to complete, which as you can see is negative 32 days, how does that come to be? Well, the due date was October 31st and today is December 2nd. Uh, so the difference between the two is 32 days. If you are late by 32 days, in other words, you're, the days left to complete is negative, below zero, then by default, we would say that this task is due or past due. If it's positive, then it is not due or past due. Um, and we would like to specify that by keeping that cell blank. Um, and that we can represent by using two quotation marks. So you'll see that when we click enter, the answer will be, or the result rather, will be yes, right? Because we do see that H2, cell H2, is less than zero, so it should return uh, the second argument, which is Y. Perfect. So just as we expected, this is how that cell was returned. But we have a second criteria, and what is that? That criteria is whether or not you did the task. So if you did that task, if this is a yes, at that point, we shouldn't say it's due or past due because you've already done it. Okay, so in that case, we need to specify another if statement. And this is where the nested if statement is born. So preceding this criteria, we should say that if the task done is yes, if it's done, then you might as well just keep that cell blank because we don't need to flag whether that task is due or past due. You've already done it. So now take a look at how this formula is set up. If I2, which is your task done, is Y, is done, then return a blank. Otherwise, otherwise, if the days left to complete is negative, please return a yes, it is due or past due. At this point, if you click enter, we'll add in our last ending parentheses and click enter. You'll notice that it still says yes because we haven't done the task yet. But what if we now enter in a Y because we have done the task? At this point, that cell returns a blank exactly as we had stated it to be. Okay, so here you go. You'll see in this, these cells, the formula has been copied downward. You have the nested if, if function that exists because we do have the two criteria um, impacting that result. Great. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.